Hey, what's up everyone? This is Comlox, and welcome to another video. And yeah, today I'll be showcasing on a tutorial on how to do my Evangelion X Volt cosplay. And so yeah, for this cosplay for Ava Unit 1, I'm using Volt Prime. Uh, for his pallet rifle, I'm using the Bratton Vandal. But the reason why I'm using this shock camo skin is because when the Bratton Vandal got visually updated over I think like over a year ago um, its new default skin is more consistent with the Tenno aesthetic but it's not as like sharp or linear as its legacy version which is shown here and one of these skins the forest day of the dead skin or the shot camel but I decided to go with the shot camel skin because it's probably the closest skin that's visually not intrusive to what the pallet rifle could look like and yeah that is the pallet rifle and for the colors I am using yellow light medium gray light medium gray uh, for accents nothing and energy gray uh, mostly gray just to keep it really consistent and close to what the pallet rifle looks like, which is mostly all gray. Um, and then for the progressive knife, I'm using uh, the heat dagger um, because it is the only dagger that is closest to a single knife. And also it makes sense because in the show, the progressive knife, uh, quote unquote, either uh, heats up or it has like this um, energy and missile that glows and it's able to penetrate angel AT fields and it's all crazy and whatnot. But yeah, I'm using the heat dagger and then for the colors, I'm just using a black, red, and for the accents, white. I'm not using anything for tertiary or energy, uh, just because if you look at the knife, it literally looks like a knife. Um, nothing really special, but yeah, that's probably was the least difficult to try and match up. And yeah, for Volt Prime itself, let's get right into the attachments. So we're using the Volt Arrestor helmet. I chose this helmet because it obviously has the closest silhouette to Unit 1. Even though he uses one horn, even though this helmet has two horns, I think it matches better just because of the shape. For the for the skin itself, I'm just using the default Prime skin. For the attachments, I am using the Ceramica chest plate. I'm using the Arca shoulder guards for both shoulders, and then for both legs, I'm using Dendril leg guards to further simulate the AT fields, which the Evangelions can generate. For the colors, I'm using for primary, I'm not using anything, secondary and tertiary, or black. Uh, accents, I'm using a neon green. If you don't have neon green, you can use any other type of green from any other palette of which you may have at your disposal. Uh, and for the energies, I'm using just blue. And for the sign Donna, I am using the disconnect sign uh, for the power plugs that are connected to the Avas in the show. Perfect name for the sign Donna, by the way. This is a Tenogen item. For the colors, I'm using a light medium gray for primary, for secondary, tertiary, and for accents, I'm using a medium dark kind of red. You can specifically find this color uh, in most in most palettes or something close to it. Fire Halloween, uh, classic, and I believe Valentine uh, Day palettes all have something close to that. So I'm actually using the one from the Valentine. Valentine Day's palette. And for Volt Prime himself, I am using a deep purple, I believe, from the Infested color palette. You can use any other purple that's close to this if you don't have the Infested color palette. Uh, same thing with the secondary, I am using Neon Green, which is from the Infested color palette. And for tertiary and accents, I'm using black, any kind of black close to that could work. And for energy, I'm using red, just because there isn't really any emissive uh, energy coming off Unit 1 in the show, of course. But it seems like there's some orange parts I weren't able to color, so I kind of use a red-orange-ish kind of color to kind of compensate for the animation set. I didn't select anything yet because I wanted to show you guys what the cosplay looked like without an animation. Uh, so you could just see the whole entire 
silhouette easy. For the animation set though, when I'm using Volt, I am actually using the Excalibur Umbra Agile animation set, just because when you see the Avas fighting, they're usually in a prone or a crouch or like some kind of like mid crouch position, uh, readied with their weapon. And this looks pretty accurate with the Brat and Vandal uh, in hand. And also, quick little cool thing, um, if you stand for a while, while with the Umbra animation, uh, there is an animation of which where your Warframe looks like it just goes nuts and yeah, like that, just like that. And that's super perfect because more than several times in the show, uh, Unit 1 goes berserk and it, it often looks like that. So yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, I, there you go, again. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is my Ava Unit 1 cosplay from Evangelion. And specifically, this is Evangelion 2.0 Volt. I mean, Unit 1. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like, sub, or a comment, and any suggestions on any other fashion frames you guys are interested in that I can try to be able to do. And that's it for this video, and I hope you Tenno have a good day. See ya.